Hello, my darling. Hello, my angel. Hello, my darling. Hello, my angel. Hello, my darling. Hello, my angel. Hello, my baby. Hello, my angels. Hello, my angels. How are you doing? How are you? Wherever you're watching this video from, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for, so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for over 6,000 followers. I'm just so happy, guys. Thank you so much for all your love and all your support. It's back again with love panache kimberly and i am panache kimberly just so happy to be with you again just so happy that my content can make some kind of impact in society <laughs> anyway um in the comment section let me know where you are watching us from maybe i'll just give a little shout out a little giveaway we don't know we don't know so yeah just tell me where you're watching from tell me where you are and um you know i'll just give you a big fat shout out um yeah <laughs> welcome back to this youtube channel it's time to talk about something new content on the internet you know on my free time during my free time i am usually just browsing the internet and quite recently i've been zeroing in on a topic that i find interesting or that i have been finding interesting for the longest time and these are um pages along the lines of psychology and psychologists or psychiatrists or whatever and one particular pattern you know how you know psychologists or psychiatrists or mental health people professionals have got several things about the human mind that they focus on but i'm particularly drawn to the issue of mental health and i've also noticed that among the people or the vloggers that talk about uh, mental health or professionals that talk about mental health there is one thing that they talk about more often than not and that is trauma they talk about trauma response so trauma is basically it's like a it's a constant state of mind where you're either anxious you're troubled you're scared or you're just generally guarded um because of a certain experience or certain experiences that you've been through it could be abuse mental physical it could be um how you were brought up it could be um something that happened you know like an accident you know that's more ptsd but you get the gist of of what i'm trying to describe as trauma and then there comes the thing called trauma response which is what you do or how you respond to that particular trauma and as i've been seeing these posts and these vlogs on instagram because i'm a big instagram person i have realized that there's a lot of things that are happening like you see that um somebody's first generation this they're indian they're korean they're um african-american they're whatever and they're just trying to overcome something and a lot of people all around the world seem to have one thing in common which is trying to overcome a past some people are either trying to do that by completely erasing it other people are trying to do that by going through it other people are just you know blocking it out like it doesn't exist they just completely i don't know like yeah you i guess you get the gist so today i don't know how you know i love positivity i love um just helping people stay or help people to you know kind of stay in the right frame of mind and today i just want to talk about getting over past experiences your reaction to past experiences and i want to talk particularly to the ladies on this one i don't know how to address gentlemen because unfortunately for this one it's a bit more from my past experience my my lessons of life and i hope it'll um, help someone by the way please like subscribe comment everything because i love you guys and i really appreciate your presence here if you haven't done all these things please do so because i am gonna be around for a while let me frame it in form of a question. Why is it that when a certain experience happens or if someone experiences something, they tend to um they they tend to kind of get into a mode of self-destruction or a mode of just 
revenge or they get into why is the first response that anger and then that you know am i able you know um i don't know who might be watching this who might be particularly in 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 some kind of pain or bitterness or um you know just a hard place you know mentally i'll talk from experience and say you can't heal a an event by just a smile or just going to talk about it and then it goes you know especially if it's a series of events it could be events it could be a parent who had been absent it could be a boyfriend who um or girlfriend for boys who didn't treat you right it could be um it could be a friend who betrayed you or whatever it could be but then how people treat you should not dictate how you then treat the world for instance i've been looking at confessions and there are a few confessions that i've read online where a girl says um or someone let's not just say a girl but somebody in general says um cuz i've seen it on boys let's just say for example uh somebody gave me aids like my 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 trusted boyfriend or my trusted girlfriend gave me aids and they had been promiscuous and then now i just you know sleep with everybody without protection because i want everyone to suffer so i want the girls to suffer or i want the boys to suffer because of what had been done to me second example you could be someone who um had been who walked out of a very bad relationship maybe your significant other cheated on you and then now you are going out into the world and you are cheating on every other person that you're coming across what that really does or what that is is revenge in quotes and the danger of revenge is it never really fulfills you it never really fills in the hole of the pain or the hole created by the pain or it doesn't erase revenge does not erase the pain that was created by a particular person or a significant other what revenge does is it it makes you feel like you're fighting right it makes you feel like you are pushing back you're giving back you know you you've served your punch right and then after serving that punch you realize that you've served the punch on the wrong person and then now you realized you realize in the split of uh you know in a, in a split second that you're not you're not doing the right thing but unfortunately with revenge some of us don't want to acknowledge the fact that whoever we're re revenging on or whoever even if it's you you got cheated on and now you're cheating on the same person back that act of cheating back or that act of uh, making them suffer for the sins of their brothers and sisters or the sins of their fathers that particular um, that feeling it it does not fill in the the gap it doesn't it doesn't take it away it doesn't take away your pain it doesn't remove the pain so if there's anyone watching this who who is going in that space or who is in that mindset where they want to revenge or they want to punch back you know and then they you know you want to punch everyone you're just so angry and you want to punch everyone you want to give them a, a feeling you know if you're in that state of mind i want to remind you that how someone treats you is not your fault how someone treats you or what someone says to you what someone does to you it's not your fault if someone cheats on you that is their lack of understanding of what they are doing it, it is their it is their it is their nonsense it is their buffoonery their idiocy it is them who is so much of an idiot that they don't understand what is in front of you if you were betrayed by a partner their betrayal is not your fault it is not your fault that you were trusting it is not your fault that you were naive at the time you could not see your purity is not a weakness your purity is not a um 
Akusko poza, how no poza. You are just somebody who has pure intentions. And that is not a bad thing. The only bad thing that happened is that somebody decided to take advantage of that and they hurt you in the process. But that does not mean that your response is to hurt every other person. Do you know that you can actually heal healthily, if there's a word like that? You can go through a healthy healing process. You can go through um, a proper, you know, closure without them needing to apologize to you of course it's hard i know it's hard but you first need to i don't know how to explain but do you know that within you there is the power to heal yourself do you know that you are enough as a person as an individual you have what it takes to heal you have what it takes to succeed you have what it takes to become exactly what you'd like to become so Punching back in that direction does not make you or does not heal you. It actually continues to break you because now you've got a chain of people who you're carrying who really didn't do anything wrong, but are paying for somebody's sins. The thing is, the world is funny. It's got this thing called karma. It's got this thing or this being called God who will deal with his people in the direct and correct manner. Learn to leave things that are out of your control to whatever you believe in as the punishing force, either God or karma or whatever it is. But learn to let go. Learn and understand that it is not your job to serve punishment, okay? It is not your duty to punish. It is not your duty to be the, the, the devil. Don't be the devil. Do not lose your innocence to this thing called revenge. Revenge will not heal you. Revenge will destroy you. And I don't know what better way to say it. There are other ways to heal. I will definitely talk about other ways to heal in future vlogs. But today I just felt to get this off my chest. There are other ways to heal. Revenge feels like you're doing it. It feels like you're serving the punch. It feels like you're giving them what they deserve. But at the end of the day, revenge is really making you a bad person. And when the Beyonce's and the Rihanna's tell you that revenge is um, leveling up, revenge is, I forgot what, she, what Beyonce really says, I'm sorry. But then, always stay gracious, best revenge is your paper. You know, the best revenge is your success. The best revenge is you improving yourself, you being the better version of yourself, you letting go, learn to let go, right? I know letting go is not easy, but kind of learn to let go. You need to start learning to let go and learn to take things out of your control. I mean, if things are not in your control, don't don't hold on to them. My battery is running out and I don't want to make this long. And I hope um, to make other videos to help people heal. Um, I'm not a guru. I'm not a, I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist. But I do like to help people stay in a good mental state. And I really want to make more videos about helping people heal. So this was just the first step. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, thank you. Turn on notification settings, thank you. And uh, comment, tell me what you think about this topic, what I'd like you'd like me to add or consider in my next topic with this regard. And uh, let's get talking about these things because uh, I ain't going nowhere. Panache Kimberly, until next time, with love.